What is up, everybody? What is going on? I'm joined by these two people today to do WrestleMania predictions. What's up? What's up? What's up? Got my two goats on here, you know. But yeah, we're here to do both nights of predictions. So, are you both looking forward to WrestleMania? Yeah. yeah. It's probably going to be the best one yet. Especially night two, though. <laughs> yeah. Last year was really good. We'll see if they yeah, it was. Let's see if Triple H can. Uh, let's see if he can do a better show than his bro- father-in-law. Yeah. Look, the both cards are pretty good. This is the Triple yeah. H show. All right, so let's start off with Saturday. Let's go through that card and we go Sunday. But all right, first match is John Cena versus Austin Theory. I'm gonna go with Austin Theory. I just think that they're gonna put him over Cena. Cena really hasn't been committed with the storyline. He's only been there once. And he's a part timer, and I don't think he has time to be a champion. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Austin Theory. Yeah, I'm going with the U.S. champion, Austin Theory, to get the W. He needs it more. He needs more uh, credibility. John Cena's what? Wrong U.S. belt. <laughs> okay, that's the only one I have. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, I'm gonna update it with a stupid eagle. All right. Um, <laughs> The new one okay. sucks. All right. Anyway, yeah, I think Austin Theory's gonna win. Uh, he needs he needs to win more. Cena's probably gonna go back and do Hollywood projects. It's good to see Cena in the ring, so um, it's okay that he's part time because he's still in shape. But I think Austin Theory needs to win, and uh, that's really it. Yeah, he needs to win just to get credibility and build his career. Triple H tried to sabotage it. That fucker. All right. No, shut up. <laughs> so Austin Theory. All right, preacher. Uh, yeah, uh, I got Austin Theory. I don't think they have enough time for John Cena to be like a champion. I don't. And Theory, they're gonna want to push his ego even more. So that's why I got Theory. Sadly, I hope I'm wrong. It's not happening. Yeah. All right. Next up is Charlotte Flair versus Rhea Ripley. I'm going to Rhea Ripley. She needs. She's been been pushed recently, really good. So and I think it's her time to be a champion. She has been champion in a couple of years, so yeah. I think Rhea Ripley's gonna win. She's just been on fire as of late with the whole judgment thing. So, and I just am getting tired of Charlotte Flair as champion. So, yeah, I'm going with Mommy. Yeah, she's gonna win. Uh, <laughs> I think she's gonna get the win. She's young, Charlotte Flair. She's just there to put her over. You know, she's the biggest women star in the past what six years. She's won a shitload of belts. But people are tired of her. I'm tired of her. I want to see a heel champion. I want to see the Judgment Day get a champion, maybe. Um, and Rhea Ripley is going to be the first champion in the Judgment Day, surprisingly. She's the fucking – she's the enforcer of the Judgment Day, not Damian Priest. Damian Priest is gay, so that's what I'm going to say. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Hot, take. Hot take there. Yeah, I got Rhea Ripley as well because I think she needs it more. And honestly, Charlotte Ford is just stat padding his fucking belt. And <laughs> – so, yeah. yeah. All right. Next up, this is this, in my opinion, should be an event, but it's not. It's gonna be the Usos versus Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. Who is Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, man? I think it's their time. I think the fall of the bloodline is gonna be happening at WrestleMania. Um, but yeah, I think Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens are gonna do it because why else would they get together again if they're gonna lose? I think they're gonna win. Yeah, I think Sami and Kevin are gonna win the tag team championships. You say wrong championship, I swear to God. I think it's <laughs> <laughs> wrong belt. Okay. I don't have the current stupid. Uh, I don't have the fucking Roman, the Trojan Man ones. All right. Um. Yeah, I think uh, Sammy and Kevin are going to win it. I think. I don't know if it's going to be the first time they won the tag belts in WWE. I don't know. Oh, maybe an NXT they won. I don't know. I think they, this will be the first time they won the tag belts, and we'll see what happens there. Uh, yeah, the bloodline storyline is going to come to an end, so I agree. Yeah, I got Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens as well because I, I like the Usos, but, yeah, this is probably the time where the bloodline is going to start, like, falling apart. It was a great storyline. It was a great couple-year storyline. And, yeah, I just think it's time for – Owens and Zayn like take over now, and the bloodline is gonna start crumbling apart. And then there you go. Yeah. And then, okay, next up, 
is Becky Lynch, Lita, Interest, Stratus versus Damage Control. I'm, I might be in the minority in this, but I'm going with Damage Control because I feel like Trish Stratus is going to turn heel on Becky Lynch and Lita. Mm. There's been there's been rumors that she's going to be turning heel on them, and they're going to have a match at SummerSlam, Trish Stratus and Becky Lynch. So I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with Damage Control because I think Trish Stratus is going to turn heel. Um. I guess I'm going to do the tiebreaker. I think they'll retain somehow. No, thinking about it doesn't make sense because I don't think Lita and... It, no, Lita this is not for the tag team titles. It's just a... Oh, a six-man six championships? Yeah, six man, a six-woman match. Six women. All right, I'll still go with them. I think you got to go with the faces, make people happy. Trish, Trish and Lita in the ring for the first time in, like, what... 17 years, I think, like 2006. So, it's yeah, it's, no, no, actually, no, they fought a couple years ago. Damage control oh. sucks. Lita and Trish, remember they fought on that women's pay per view? Oh, evolution. Well, they fought against they each did? other. They... I didn't watch it and I don't care. They fought um, against each other, they just fought. Like, and, and I remember, I remember Trish fought in SummerSlam a couple years ago. I know Trish fought like uh, fucking Charlotte Flair. So yeah, it's, it, they haven't wrestled in a couple of years, so I think. Yeah, they, they, I think for this match, I'm gonna go with the heel. I'm gonna yeah. Go. Then again, I you know what? Fuck it. I don't, I fuck damage control. Um, I think <laughs> Becky Lynch and, <laughs> yeah, and those two pick. Hall of Famers are gonna get it because I think the way Bailey's treating damage control, they're going to, like, break apart because she's, like, having so much of the word and they're probably getting yeah, sick of they it. they suck damage control. I know. And the re- another reason why I want to pick them is because they just have not done shit and they lose all the time. But if they lose, I can see them splitting up probably because, I mean, what else can they do? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm going to go with damage control. I could be wrong, could be right. We'll see. Yeah. All right, next up, I'm looking forward to this match because you know how I like it's Seth freaking Rollins versus Logan Paul. I'm going with my guy Seth Rollins to get the W. Yeah, I got Seth Rollins too. He needs it more. Logan Paul, they're going to book him to look strong no matter what. So I think if he loses, it wouldn't matter. I think he'll lose in like a chair shot or something, like some weapon or a curve stomp on something for him to lose. So I think Seth Rollins needs to win. If he loses to Logan Paul, he's a what he said on Raw. He's a joke. So it's a must win for Seth. So I got Seth. Yeah, I got Seth as well. I don't think you know every year they do the they always do the celebrity you know against a wrestler. Usually, usually most of the time the celebrity win, but I'll go with Seth Rollins. Like they're just making Logan Paul look strong right now. But I don't, I think at WrestleMania it won't matter. They'll make him look strong in the match, and then I think Seth Rollins will end it. There you go. Yeah, and plus lately Logan Paul has been looking strong because he knocked him out twice. Yeah, yeah. So I think they're gonna get the win to Rollins because you can't afford to have one of your biggest stars lose like that. Like I don't think so. No. Yeah, they can't. <laughs> All right. So next up, this is a good match: Rey Mysterio versus Dominic Mysterio. I'm going with Dominic because I feel like he's gonna just put his son over because this could potentially be. I heard Rey Mysterio might be retiring this year, so. I think he's going to want to put over his son, and I thought I feel like Triple H is going to push the younger talent over than the veterans. Right. But if, it was, if this was Vince McMahon, I would say Ray would win. But no, I think Triple H is going to push Dominic to win. All right, here's my prediction. I got da. I got Dominic Mysterio. Uh, yeah, it doesn't make sense that Ray gets inducted in the Hall of Fame and doesn't retire this year. Like, it's not like it's not like he's been away from the business and now he's coming back. He's been in WWE like consistently for like a three years. He's been an active performer, so maybe it's his last like year. So I think Dom gets the win somehow. Maybe he cheats. That's, that's why I got him the winning. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'll have to go on the downside. I got Ray because I think since it's just because it's his Hall of Fame ceremony, fucking. Um, <laughs> I think that since Dominic, but then again, you guys could be right. Triple yeah. H like pushing young talent. The church bells. I, I think shut up. 
I went back outside, fucking outside for right now. At this time. What? It's fucking eight thirty. What is eight thirty? That's not late. Fuck you. It don't get dark to yeah, but yeah. Oh, it's dark here, but it feels good outside. So fuck. Yeah, it's nice out today. But yeah, who do you have? I got Ray because the Hall of Fame. I'm like, no way he ruins his Hall of Fame. But if it if it if it if he does lose, I wouldn't be shocked. I'll probably be pissed, but I don't hmm. care. As as Vinny said, I th- I think maybe he cheats. Or has oh well, re- literally retractable roof. So or um, Damian Priest gets involved or something. Yeah. So far, so far stands like retractable open air. So I, I kind of feel bad for Damian Priest. He's the only one who don't have a match at WrestleMania. Yeah. yeah what, what is he gonna do? He could at least fucking do something. Like Vin's in a match. Rhea Ripley's in a match. Don. He like he's like the forgotten member of the Judgment Day. He's like forgotten. Yeah. He's oh not yeah. Tim Fowler sure. has a match too. Yeah, but yeah. Okay, next up, it, this should be pretty mid, but I don't know. But okay, we have a fatal four way men's tag team match, which has no fucking stipulation or nothing. It's just a random match. So you have Braun Strowman and Ricochet versus the Street Profits, Alpha Academy, and the Viking Raiders. Oh, man, I don't even know who to pick. Holy I, mid. I'm going to pick the Street Profits, I guess. I don't know. This is a tough situation. I don't think Alpha Academy because I think Otis will probably leave Chad. Like leave out on fucking Chad Gable. And I got the Viking Raiders. Braun Strowman and Ricochet, they're not even a real tag team. No. I got, the, Vi- I got the Viking Raiders because I don't know. I think they have to put a shitty win. This is going to be the worst match. Uh, even if they have good spots, no one's invested. Even if it's like entertaining, there's just no investment to it. Like. Yeah, I think it's between Street Profits and the Viking Raiders. Give me the Str- Viking Raiders. The, the honestly, Viking, go ahead. I honestly got the Strowman and Ricochet because I've. I mean, these other tag teams are so fucking mid, except the Profits. It's like I don't even know what's the point to be honest with you. Like, yeah, what, it's, what's, not, what's the, it's, it's not even a number one contendership. It's just there. It's no, called- it's just, they just want to book everybody so they won't be left out. You know? Wow, trip dude! It's literally called WrestleMania the Showcase Match. <laughs> Showcase, dude! I think this is the Vince Man idea. I think this is Vince. No, they couldn't have fucking. Vince, they oh yeah, fucking demented piece of shit. <laughs> I disagree, I, dude. I think it is because there's no fucking. Is- no, my thing is because Triple H said a couple months ago that he don't want to have a thousand matches on the pay per view, but now look at it. There's something that. <laughs> So I think Vince has yeah, his hand. Vince has his hand. Too nice. You need matches. I know, but this is pointless. There's nothing. There's no fucking stakes or nothing for I it. No, it should be on SmackDown, not on fucking WrestleMania. Oh, well. Have it on the pre-show or something. Yeah, it should pre-show. be on the pre-show. Both women's, both fucking four of you know, they're both pointless. Well, the Andre the Giant Battle Royal will be tomorrow. Yeah, it's on SmackDown. Dude, those used to be good back in the day, but now they just yeah, suck. Yeah, remember when Cesaro won? Now. Cesaro That's fucking threw up. Oh, big when show. he won, that was, all, that was the best one. The first one was Who the won? best one. Cesaro, remember that? Cesaro in 2014. Oh, yeah, that was, yeah, that was awesome. When he threw Big Show over the rope. Yeah, back in the day, those were good, but yeah, now they're just fucking... Won. <laughs> they're stupid now. Yeah, it has no purpose. Wait, who and won last time back at Moss, I just don't understand. They they just have it on SmackDown now. Like, why not have it on the pre-show? Too yeah. many See, okay, this is what I would have done. I might have put in those that tag team on SmackDown and put and traded it out for that. Yeah, because um, no one gives a shit. A battle yeah. royal will be fun at least. Yeah, it'll be a little more entertaining. Like, a little like, more variety. Wait, where is SmackDown tomorrow? Is it in? <laughs> it's in LA. Staples oh. Center, maybe. So yeah, they're not gonna travel much. Staples. Yeah, trip, yeah. There's no fucking way they're gonna put it in Soulfly. Actually, it'd probably stay. Yeah, crypto arena. At least they look. They don't have to travel far at all. Yeah, yeah. they can just go. They can literally just go like what three, forty-five minutes there. So yeah, that should be good. Hopefully, some, and Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes FaceTime them or fate not FaceTime face to face tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so. Yeah. Let's yeah. go. All right. So that that is Saturday. So let's move on to Sunday now. All right, I'm, I'm going to set the main event for last. So, but All right, next up is Bianca Belair and Asuka. I'm going to go with Asuka. This, this fucking feud has just been, not been good at all. 
I'm just being real, just has not been good in my opinion. Like all you do has Asuka just spitting out fucking whatever she's spitting out mist. I don't know. <laughs> good though. <laughs> And for the longest time, like, we didn't know who the heel and face was because they both act like baby faces. But no, but um, Asuka, like, attacked her. So she's, like, the heel, I guess. But, yeah. I like the heel part of her, though. I'm going to go with Asuka. I'm going to go to Asuka to win. Bianca's had a good reign, but I feel like it's going to be over with. So who do you guys got? I got Bianca Belair retaining. I think I don't think they'll change both women's championships at the same show. Um. I think Oscar's just there. To, I don't know. This was a this was a throw-in match. There was no story. It's just Oscar won the elimination chamber. It's not like Oscar attacked uh, Belair or did anything to her. Like it's just she won a match. And I see you, preacher man. And then build it. <laughs> All right, preacher man, who do you got? Oh, that's terrible. I don't agree with that, man. What? Fuck you. What? You, 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 you hate every black person. person. I'm just picking her because it's a Bianca Bell Goat. <laughs> yeah, she's a bell cow. Goated. Um, but unfortunately, I have Oscar because, like, Bianca Belair, I love her, but she can't. But this is probably going to be because remember, she held this belt for now basically a calendar year if she retains. But yep, she I hope I'm, I, I hope the fucking god I'm wrong, but I think Oscar's going to win. But I hope you're right. Okay. All right. This match is going to be a physical banger. You have Guther, Drew McIntyre, and Sheamus for the Intercontinental Championship. Ooh. I'm going with Sheamus, and I feel like he's going to pin Drew McIntyre. I don't think Guther's going to get pinned because I, you know, they they want to protect Guther yeah. and they're getting pinned. So I think he's going to pin Drew McIntyre. That's how he's going to lose the belt. But I think Sheamus is going to be the champion. That's the only belt he has not won in WWE. So yeah, the belt it's his time to get the championship. I'm going with Sheamus. I'm going with Drew McIntyre, and I think he claymores Gunter in the middle of the ring, and then Sheamus tries to break it, out, break the pin, but it's a three count, and then he wins the title. Wow! So you think he pins Gunter? Yeah, I think McIntyre needs a big win. All right. Well, at least we're disagreeing. Okay, that's good. I don't know. No, it's your prediction. It's whatever. I think. Yeah, we'll see what happens. You never know. Some swerves will happen. Yeah. All right. So, who do you got, Preacher Man? I have Drew McIntyre winning because I feel like I know Sheamus hasn't won Intercontinental. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not laughing about that. Amir just texted me. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm not la- uh, like Intercontinental Bell Sheamus. I think Drew McIntyre is going to play more Sheamus. They'll take out Boom Ticket together, but then oh, Drew McIntyre will pull some shady shit. And um, Drew McIntyre will win the belt, and he needs like a big push. And then him and Sheamus will feud until like I don't know SummerSlam. Okay, not bad. All right, next up is a Hell in a Cell match. You have Edge and Finn Balor. This could go either. Way. This could go either way, in my opinion. Um, mm-hmm. it's gonna be the Demon Finn Balor in this match, and you got yeah. fucking Edge being like the broad Edge, I guess. You know, he comes out in the fire. You know. Yeah. yeah. Brood, yeah, whatever it's called, but yeah, I th- I'm gonna go with Edge, but I, I can see Finn winning. It's a toss up. I'm gonna go with Edge, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Edge. Balor's not as popular as Ripley, so Edge is the most popular guy in that story. Like, obviously, uh, still in shape, and I don't mind him winning in WrestleMania in LA with a fucking giant spear and uh, pinning that. Technical boy. So yeah. You're drinking beer right now. Oh my god. That's Steve Weiser. Fuck you. And you're promoting alcohol. Nice job. Yeah, drink wow. up. This video's gonna be fucking taken down. You have to be nineteen or nice over. fucking going. Uh I got edge because Finn Balor and shit they're done. <laughs> wow. <laughs> But yeah. the demon, though, his demon side is goaded, though. But he lost. The last time he was demon, he lost. So. Oh, yeah. The Roman Reigns, I think. Yeah. yeah. That's when he was a face, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he's heel. He's a heel. Heel. And I think Edge, I think Edge just ends it because they've been feuding for like a year, man. It's like. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's got to end this. Like, this, is, it's, this feud has to be over with. I'm tired of it. 
Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's good while it lasts. Oh. Like, All right. Next up. Oh, God. We got <laughs> Brock Lesnar versus Omos. <laughs> Woo! Nine yeah, fucking match. match on pay per view. Hmm. It's going to be a five minute match. I'm going with the Beast and Carnage, Brock Lesnar. I'm going with Brock Lesnar. Uh, I think it'll be a 10 second match. Uh, he tries to struggle to lift Omos, then he F fives him and pins him quickly. And Omos is so shook. He's like, he looks down at Brock. He's like, he picked up Mark Henry and Big Show before. Yeah, he's looking down at Brock, trying to struggle picking it up. He's like, uh, 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 and then he actually does F fives him and pins him quick. I got Brock Lesnar because oh, I think Omos is boring as shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. It's pathetic that he's on this card. It's just like, what the fuck? Yeah, I want to give him a match. He's boring. It, I like, really I like better big. than Styles' bodyguard. That was better. Let's be real. The only reason he's on this card is because he's big. Yeah, exactly. big guys. Unless you're Big Show and Mark Henry, don't like fucking you know. Braun Strowman's a way better big guy, but yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. At yeah. least he's a fucking talking wall. Yeah, at least fucking Strowman can run and fucking wrestle. Yeah, yeah. Omos can't fucking run. He just Omos Omos Strowman does it too. Too. Omos is like the great Kali. Like they're they're giant big wrestlers who do chops. Yeah, great Kali was a great champion. Though. Really, because Vince is stupid. He likes big men. Wow. But, yeah, I think. I, oh, this is for sure a Vince match. Don't give. This is it. Yeah, that's a Vince match. Listening. Yeah, it's a big marquee match. All right, next up. Oh my God, why is this on the card? Okay, another. You have another women's showcase match. What? Yeah, there's a Wait, women's what? match. Oh, the women. Oh yeah. Okay. okay. So you got Liv Morgan, Raquel Rodriguez versus Natalia and Shotzi, Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler, Sonya Deville and Chelsea Green. It's just, this is fucking throwing tag teams. Like, what the fuck is this shit? All right, go. That's Vince McMahon written all over it. I don't even know who to pick. I guess I'm going to go with Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler. All right. I'm going with Chelsea Green's tag team. I think they shocked the world. They get a fucking dub. And, like, they steal a win somehow. Like, with a roll-up or something just to piss hey. off the crowd. <laughs> I thought it was fucking supposed to be um, her, but no. Ow. Ow. <laughs> You're weak. You can't even squeeze a box. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm laying down. I don't care. Um, so I going? got, I got one of my girls, Raquel and fucking Liv Morgan. So oh, I don't know. Your host. This this match is literally the middest match on in probably all of WrestleMania. Like, mm-hmm. This and Omos match to be the worst. Oh yeah, it's the worst for sure. That it just I think any, the, any match that got Omos in it, it's boring. I don't care. I think the men's match will be better than the women's. Because at least the street profits are good. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Because these are fucking legit throw-in tag teams. Like yeah, Raquel and Liv have always been friends. But the only one that's actually kind of real is Ronda Rousey and Shayna. They're like the yeah, only real. Yeah, because they're both fighters. They each other in UFC, you know. But, but I just feel like they're going to give Ronda Rousey a win at WrestleMania. That's just how I feel. Ronda Rousey sucks now. Yeah. So she, I heard she was talking shit about Triple H. I'm like, fuck you, bitch. Woo! Okay. She, cause he, cause the women's division is booked wrong. Yeah, okay. Maybe the women just fucking suck. How about that? Yeah. Yeah, but okay. Next up is the main event of the evening. Fuck, where is it? Where's my belt? Ah. You got the American Nightmare versus the Tribal Chief for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Wrong fucking belt, bitch. Fuck you. I was nostalgic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Okay, I'm I'm going with my boy, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, winning the gold, finally beating Roman Reigns. Going to be a hell of a match. Let's go. Yeah, I got neck t- tattoo boy getting the win with a crossroads. I think the bloodline is going to try to stop him. And then that, I think uh, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn come out to beat up the bloodline uh, after, you know, they're like in uh, like ringside or whatever. It's going to be like a brawl and shit. They're all going to be knocked out. Paul Hammond's gonna be having sex with the belt like this, and then Crossroads one two three. Nice. nice. All right, who Paul, you got? Uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> I got Cody Rose, be- and I think this is how it's going to go down. It's going to be a great match, probably best WrestleMania match in probably the past several years. Um, I still think that Daniel Bryan, Batista, and Randy Orton is better, but this is going to be great. It's probably going to draw the most views out of anything. I'm getting Cody Rose with this, and it's going to happen like this. They're all – they're going to – this is going to be the longest match for sure. They're going to – the bloodline's going to try and stop them, but fucking, yeah, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. And then when they're down and Roman Reigns asks for help, they're going to fucking leave them. And there you go. And yeah. then the bloodline, they're going to be all like crumbling in their family. So there you go. Yeah. It, if Roman Reigns wins, I'm making a rant video. If Roman wins, I'm making a rant video. I'm going to be good pissed. Okay, then who's going to be the fucking big face after that to challenge Roman Reigns? Like, come on. No, he's beat everybody, really. Yeah, this rain. Yeah, he got to lose this. Like, come on. I swear that's- to God, if they put Omos and Roman Reigns, I'm cutting it. I'm going to, like, report. Oh, oh that's going to be an awesome. Oh, my that's God. Saudi Arabia match. Oh. I'm going to report WWE for that shit. Report? <laughs> Fuck what? It. Omos is not a face. They'll boo the shit out of him. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, really, yeah. I'd rather Roman than win for sure. I'll be like, come on, Roman. I'll fuck Omos. <laughs> Dude, that match would be the worst that I've ever seen. Shit, that would be terrible. Don't, uh, WWE, do not listen to this guy right here. Don't listen. <laughs> don't listen no, to Skinner. No, I said I swear to God, if it happened. I don't want it to happen. That happens, I'm fucking killing myself. You, no. Wow. I hope they don't listen to you, man. Don't listen to him. Don't listen to Skinner. No, don't fucking don't do that shit. If that happens, then everyone can blame me. <laughs> if that happens, I'm blaming you. I blame you, just like Amir did to you. Fuck you. <laughs> of Hellsley, I, dude, I knew he was going to blame me for that. I fucking knew it. Man. Like, no, I thank, you, I thank you, Skinner. I oh, fuck you. you. I I shit Seriously. Fuck Get out of here, you fucking bullshit. Wow. Fucking Jay lover. Wow. This right here. He's, Wait, he's not Padres are anymore. losing. Who? Padres <laughs> are losing. Hey, that's a, that's a team you pick first, bitch. That's the team you pick first. Yeah, it's game one. Okay. Game one. Who, who, what's the score? One nothing. Oh, uh, come on. Oh, in the come first on. inning. Oh, come on. Ain't shit. God damn. All right, guys. I didn't say anything. There's our predictions for WrestleMania. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. We'll Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. And yes. Yeah. Let's go. WrestleMania. We'll see who gets the most right. We'll see. I'm watching we'll it on see. the crack screen. So you or you can't see. But thank you all for watching, and we're out of here. Hope you guys have a good night. Bye.